hello there so as promised i am going to be reviewing stir fry by emma donahue this was her debut novel and i as i have said i think it's at the standard for her it's about maria who is only 17 and just uh, started university it's set in the past and it's set in dublin she first uh, lives with her aunt Thelma, but then she sees an advert two female seek flatmate own room no bigots um and she's a very innocent girl and you see her develop as she eventually meets Ruth and Jill, the two females seeking flatmate and you see her friendship with Ruth and with Gail or Jill, I think it's said and how they are different because Ruth and Jill are completely different only in some ways similar and they are together and Maria at first does not catch on on this however she still stays living with them after she discovers this and you see her go for once to a feminist club you see her tries at relationships and how she was forcing herself to like people I could relate to that in a way um, I think it's like very sub subtly um, it uh, describes sexuality um, there are gaps uh, in narration and each time there is a space it's like a new event and the style is also each chapter is describing a step of making a stir fry which is the first meal that Ruth cooks for when uh, Maria goes to meet them and to see the flat for the first time in fact they are called picking, mixing, doubling, cutting, heating, waiting, stirring and serving it's interesting to see how her relationship with both Ruth and Jael is different. They need her in different ways. So whereas Ruth would need someone to complain to and someone that understands her, someone that doesn't leave her, um, Jael needs someone to have fun with and someone she can be silly with. So they are two different people and uh, they have different um, friendships with Maria. Um, it's also interesting to see how Maria feels about going back home for the holidays. Um, I think anyone that escaped the smallness of a village for a big town can understand not wanting to go back home even though they love their family and well they were used to that kind of living situation but they aren't anymore it's also interesting to see how things had been building up for a while but you don't guess i guess uh, you don't guess it that is going to happen but then when they finally do they were quick but you think that they were fitting um oh no yes this book was very interesting very easy to read and relate to but it has some deepness in it about you know it's a coming of age story and it's about growing up and building yourself the only thing that I found that I wanted to know more of apart from the open ending which that is a style I guess it leaves it open for the reader to interpret what's going on and maybe 
it would allow a sequel to happen later on which i really do hope but i'm not holding my breath for it um something else which i wanted to see in the book and it wasn't there it was um like how different characters what happened to them like after maria stopped interacting with them or after certain episodes there's um what's damien and galway and devon um but i do get why their story wasn't there it, this is maria's coming of age story it's not about them it's about maria and her character building and her development and strength and i do get it will i do get why it was not uh, mentioned in the book although i would have loved to have a paragraph or two what happened to them um yes all in all this book is a fantastic book much less of a fantastic w i am looking forward to looking more um to reading more books by emma donahue i have a stray which is a collection of short stories on people moving from one place to another basically my creation so i have that and uh, hopefully i will read it although probably not soon um i am also looking forward to reading landing by her um the uh the frog music which is her latest novel and some other books i think there's the sealed letter and room i'm not sure if room is by i think there's something else called room um but i'm the most two books that i'm looking forward to reading are um landing and frog music um her writing style is impeccable as always and it makes you turn pages so i really recommend either this book or anything else by her so that you get a taste of what the style is and her storytelling and yeah for that for now that's it i hope that this review may have convinced you to read this book or may have well told you that it exists at least um yeah for now that's a bye.